here at uh, Ryan and Ryan headquarters, we get pumped about the uh, Christmas holidays. Uh, all about celebrating uh, Christmas. We're all about it. Hey, come with me. <clears throat> hey. Hey, hey Bert, Ryan. What's up, man? What's up, brother? Nothing much. What you guys, what you doing in here? Uh, you know, just spicing up some coffee a little bit. Drinking some coffee? Yeah. Anyway. What's up, I dude? Like the, I like the mug. Yeah, dude. The patriotic mug. All sorts. And the uh, seasoning. Yeah, I mean. In the coffee. Spice a lot. So the only thing is now, uh, for this point forward, whenever we're together as a band, we're going to wear Christmas hats. This is a tradition. I see that. Tradition. So I got you this Christmas hat. You're going to wear this. That, that is not a Christmas hat. That's Christmas hat. It's got bells. Listen. This what does that remind you of? Reindeer. A clown. Rubber. A clown? Yeah. What do you mean a clown? Um, well, I... I mean, it's, it's got green I mean, and red and purple. Okay. Like, what's that? Navy? Okay. Yeah. You don't have any. Like I'm not Christmas dreaming. I'm not Christmas. dreaming of a navy Christmas. You know? Okay. Well, there's not white on there either, but it's okay. Uh huh. You're thinking. You know. I know. You were thinking what I was thinking. At first, when I looked at, it, I thought court jester, right? Yes. Court jester type thing. But here's the thing. Better is one day in his courts than thousands elsewhere. You know what that means? That means you'd rather be a jester in his courts for a day than be clowning around anywhere else for any extended period of time. And that's kind of what that represents. So to me, that's a big celebration of, uh, you know, the Christ. I thought we were celebrating like Christmas, though. Oh, it isn't the Christ Christmas? Yeah. I mean, okay. All right. What about, well, I got some other hats. I mean... Yeah. Hey. Hey. I like this one. I like this one. Okay. Yeah, I, kind of, I think I go with this one. I'm, I'm more of a traditional kind of guy. Yeah. That's kind of traditional. More than old fashioned. Yeah. So I like, picked it up and like I shook it and I could hear like these individual little things in there like moving a little bit and I was like, what? And so I was so stoked because I just knew that it was those little cars. And then come Christmas morning I opened it. It wasn't three little cars. What was it? It was actually three Star Wars action figures. So it was even better. It's even better. It's even better, dude. Yeah, man. I'd love to have like 20 Chewbacca's of right. poses, you know? Different sets. But anyway, yeah, Christmas memories. I, I love Christmas memories. You know, a lot of years um, when, there wasn't, when there wasn't coal in the stocking, I got like other stuff, you know? Exactly. You know what my favorite, one of my favorite Christmas gifts is? Tell me. You ever seen the Petrus, Pepperidge Farms uh, combo packs? You like the, All kinds like of different the shortbread cheese. cookies and like stuff? Like, like different cheese. Okay, like, like the sausages and yeah. summer sausage. And yeah. Love those. Used to play with them for hours when <laughs> yeah. I was a kid, yeah. I'd get them, get them, open those up, just play with them for hours. You know? Yeah. Awesome. Can't say uh, I ever did that, but I can... Yeah. To, be... yeah, and then later, you know, my mom would throw it out, make me angry. Um, but it was fun while I had it. Like what? What's your favorite like Christmas song? Oh, I don't. Know. I love the traditional. Ones. I love them. the traditional, traditional ones, you know. But if I had to pick a favorite, it has to be "White Christmas" by Bing Crosby. And yeah, they made a movie too. Yeah, great movie. It's a musical. It snows all the time here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love white Christmases. Yeah. But, yeah, my I always wanted a train growing up, you know? Those yeah. trains that go around the track, like around Thomas the tree. Tank yeah. Engine. So Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne is one of my favorite all-time Christmas songs. You know, going off the rail on the Crazy Train takes me back to those memories, of, you know, the Christmas morning. Lights on the tree, you know, Santa's been there. That's awesome. Love that song. But uh, speaking of Christmas songs... I've already written a song called um, I Would Have Run. Okay. I Would Have Run. It's about me. Um, it could be about us, but it's really about me. And, you know, when Jesus was born, um, because I'm a Christian, when he was born in Bethlehem, I would have, wherever I was at the time, I would have dropped everything. I just would have ran to the stable because I'm a Christian, you know? So I would have been like, I'm a Christian. I've got to be there. Even if you could go back in time and do that, yeah. technically there weren't Christians until after Jesus died. Um, got this other song I'm working on, besides I Would Have Run, and that is a song um, called uh, 
first Christmas party. The first Christmas party. Kind of similar to Sunday School Party, and, and it's going to be a more of a high-tempo type song, but first Christmas party. More high-tempo yeah. than Sunday yeah. School Party. Like us, like, yeah. Well, not, well, kind of like it. Uh, we, would, we would show that if we showed up at the stable, we would have rocked it out. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. would show up with our instruments, plugged in, and just started jamming. You know what I'm saying? Putting Christmas lights around the manger and everything, just jamming out. And right. uh, and would have got all of Bethlehem involved. You know, free concert. Okay, so take that out. First Christmas party. But anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. So just be ready for that. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs>